Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, just for me to test out the uh, menu version of this board and just and show you the little differences. Oh, I nearly forgot, hang about. <coughs> yep, there we go. I remembered this time, uh, I think we're uh, okay. Uh, right, so um, yeah, the, 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 this this board is fine. There's nothing. Well, I say there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, what I found is uh, I'd, I've done a really n a newbie mistake with it uh, on the uh, the microcontroller. Um, when using the encoders, uh, the two encoders. I've put them on the same uh, port. Uh, the, the pins, are, all the pins for the in both encoders are on the same port. So every time there's an interrupt, um, uh, basically, um, what it does, it, it looks at, at, at both encoders instead of just one encoder. Uh, so what I've done now is I've, I've moved all the uh, the pin allocations on the uh, this the second uh, on on the microcontroller. I've swapped pins around basically. So so now that um, uh, when we get interrupt on on this one, it, the the interrupt is on a separate part on the uh, on the microcontroller than than this one, and therefore they they don't interfere with each other because. On this one, it was reading both parts every time there was a, an interrupt on either one, uh, which gives a f gave a false reading if both w were work moving. Uh, but it, it works fine. You can uh, if you're not using encoders, there's there's no issue whatsoever. Uh, if you're using encoders on the motors, then you can only position one motor at a time. You can't do both simultaneously. Uh, so, but hopefully with this one now, uh, that is all sorted. Uh, I mean, I've got vision, a version. Can, can you see that? Let me just, ah, oh, me, me lights it where. Yeah, so I've, I've identified the two. Uh, there we go, that says version one. There we go. And um, this one definitely says, uh, version 2, there we go, uh, so uh, I'll leave that focus like that, so uh, basically um, the the only difference is um, it, well, the, the, to generally looking at the two boards, the, 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 the hard to find, you just have to t do the two versions, but I thought when I was doing this new board I, I would imp try to improve it as well, do some extra stuff. So what I've also done is, in this top right hand corner where we've got motor power, I've separate, well, I've given the option to separate the two power pins. Uh, let's just put them side by side. So you can see there's only one power, power uh, LED on the first one, but there's actually two power LEDs on the other. That's because what I have done is I have I've put this solder bridge now it's connected by default so you need to put cut down the between the two there if you want to separate them but what you can do is you can have different voltages for each motor now so if you if you cut down that slot and you separate the uh, um, the uh, so solder jumper there if you separate that um, then you can put a different voltage on uh, the, the the two motors, so you can have one, say, running at six volt and one running at twelve, uh, and it'll be it'll be fine. Uh, uh, yeah, so 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 basically that 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 there. Uh, what, have I got the right? Oh, upside down. There, that there is is just the way to tell the difference. Really, is there's two LEDs there. And there's only there's only the one LED there. So 
put that one to side. Uh, I mean, I still use them. I mean, if I'm not using encoders, uh, there's not an issue. Yeah. Even if I'm using encoders, uh, I just have to remember with this board that we can only move one motor at a time. So uh, that's that's it. So hopefully, with this new version now, uh, this new version, we can now uh, send to command to. Uh, both motors uh, to do different things uh, so let's just I'll plug it together oh, uh, <laughs> and another mistake I made anyway, right so I've, I've got a station here with switches uh, that plugs well I'll just, I'll just uh, get it into focus let's focus it about here Yeah, there, that's better, I think. Yeah, so um, so we've got the A and B stations there. So now uh, the the pins are pulled up to VCC. I've got two resistors there. There's two resistors pulling up to VCC, and then they're close to ground. But I forgot to put. Um, uh, any debounce? Uh, I've got no no room in the code. The, the, the memory <laughs> I run out of memory in the microcontrollers, but uh, so there's no room for putting debounce code in there. And, and, and in fact, I don't. I I don't. Uh, I prefer to use uh, physical uh, RC circuit, a resistor capacitor circuit. So you just need to put a, a resistor and a capacitor across them two pins when you normally open and then when you close uh, the charge in this um, capacitor will just sort of uh, dissipate slowly enough for the, all the bouncing to be gone uh, anyways so that's that, that was just that thing so we've got that connected let's connect the uh, motors up so we'll have this one as A. And this one as B. So uh, there we go. Uh, I'll put a little bit of tape on the end of the motors so we can hopefully see them uh, rotating. And then this has, this is the type of motor that I'm using with this encoder on the back. It's got less uh, 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 less uh, notches than the the uh, other ones I were using before, but uh, st st still it's fine, no worries. So let's see, get that arranged, and then we've got the power. Uh, well, I've got power coming into both pins. So yeah, let's connect that up. That's that okay. Uh, what's going on here? There we go. So, if I, yeah, if I keep it all on the green bit, then uh, we can uh, we know we can see it. There we are. Uh, right, so what do we need? Oh, right, we need uh, got my Arduino down here, uh, um, and that has got a, a cable connected to the I2C which I will plug in here there we go so um, that's that so let's just oh and we need to plug in the Arduino to the USB so just a normal USB cable plug that in That gives us power, and we can see that we've got VCC. Um, now, the, the, you, better, you can also check that, that your uh, two uh, fault LEDs are working right. So you'll see these blink slightly when I turn the power on to the motors. Uh, they should have just blinked, and then you can see the two motors are lit there. Hang on, well, let's see if we can get to uh, that. Uh, let's try clicking on there. 
Oh, no, 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 sorry, they're a bit bright on the camera, anyways. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's too bright, isn't it? Try that. There, there we go. I think that looks a bit better. Um, right, yeah. So, uh, there were a quick flash, but actually, if, you turn, if I turn the power off to the motors, uh, you'll see they'll come on. As, as the capacitors in the charge dies down in my... Uh, circuit for the for the uh, the power these will stay on for a while let me just show you there you see so as as the power dissipated uh, these came on to say there's a fault with low power so they work off okay let's turn power back on again there we go quick flash obviously turning power on is a lot faster than turning it off uh, right, yeah, so we're all set up there, so um, what I need now is to connect to my Arduino. So, uh, connect on COM port 107, mine is plugged into, and there we go. Now, at the moment, this is on the uh, default uh, 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 I2C address of 48, so what I'll do is I'll just go and see what what, what what the state of this is and send that and then we can see there that the position A is at zero, position B well it will be at zero because we've just turned it on and the address is 48, it's found it otherwise if, if I actually so say we wanted to go to address 49 I'll change that to 49 down here Shall I get me a big handout? Yeah, let me get a big handout. Uh, where are we? Uh, just give me a moment. Oh. Uh, um, where did I put that? Oh, I don't think I put it there yet. Hang on. Sorry, bear with me. Uh, just looking for where I stuck it. I have had it because I put it out on the other one. I, I think it's a bit of fun, really. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this this one. Big, big pointer. Yeah, there we go. Look, right. So, uh, yeah, so if we're pointing down here, let's just move that around a bit. There. So, if, if I change that to uh, like 49 and we send that, uh, what will happen is we can't find it because there isn't one so uh, basically D is to tell it which uh, 48 so it's just that's just telling the Arduino that it needs to talk to um, where's my hand gone it just needs to talk to this on 48 so we can send that again there we go. Uh, so uh, it, it's found at 48, and the, the I2C speed is set at 400. In my se uh, I've, I've done a, um, a uh, an instructable. Uh, if we go and if I bring that up, what I'll do is I'll show you. Right. So I, I did an instructable for for the first version one and, and version two is, is basically the same it's just that i've had to change the board and the firmware to rearrange the pins on the uh, microcontroller so if we look at that and we go there in, in here i've actually uh, listed all the uh, commands where are we let's get down there we go if we look at the commands yeah. Oh, let me just uh, uh, make sure that damn nope what am I doing I'm pressing the wrong buttons again oh sorry just bear with me I just messed it all up right yes <sighs> yeah dear me uh, right yes so there's there's some because there's there's two motors uh, on on this um, where's my hand again Get my hand back. Yeah, because there's two motors on this uh, uh, board, uh, we have a, a global command. It's an M command, 
and so we can either talk to one motor or two on oh, the second motor so this is motor A is an M1 and the uh, motor B is is M2 and if we want to connect uh, talk to both motors and do have, bo mo have both motors do the same thing uh, we can use the M3 command and that that sends us the command to to both motors instead of just one uh, so um, you you'll see me using this M1 and M2 and M3 uh, to change the state of uh, which motor I'm talking to uh, yeah yeah this M1 M2 M3 uh, you'll you'll um, uh, let's see uh, where was I yes you'll see me change now these are global commands this means once you've sent the M1 command any other if you don't send another M command uh, it will always remain as set at M, the M1 so you'll when you use one of these other commands and you don't use an M command it defaults to the last M command that you used so say I sent uh, an M3 every t after that uh, uh, any command I send and I don't send an M command it will always send it to both motors and same with the others well I, I hope that made some sense <laughs> uh, right so uh, we've got the settings command settings so we've got this we can we can say say that we want to set everything to zero. We can use a C command, and then and if we want to, let's I tell you what, let's bring that over to there, and just uh, make that smaller a bit. And what I can do is I can bring this up. Yeah, that's it. Right. So you, you can see. Well, I'll go down this list. So you can see that the I2C address is set, uh, uh, speed is set to 400. You can change that to 100k. Uh, so if we look over here, you can see that there's a C10. Uh, hang on, what's that? Oh no, that sets the address. Oh, this sets the speed. There we go. So you can see that if we send a C13. Um, uh, followed by a space, then a B, and then a value. Now this is a, 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 a I made it B to just remind me uh, that it's a boolean. So so the C13 command is a boolean. So that's going to be either one or zero, and that'll tell us set it to either 4k or 400k or 100k uh, I2C speed. So you can see we're currently set at 400. So um, I've already sent a D command uh, to say uh, the uh, set my Arduino at, to say that we're talking to board 48 you know with the I2C address 48 so I don't need really need to send that again so what I'll do is I will use the C13 so we've got C13 C13 and then we'll say it's going to be a boolean and I'll set it to zero okay and if I send that okay it send it, uh, I've, I've currently got on my Arduino I've got debug on so it's actually told me that this is what I've sent I've sent C13 it just confirms that I've sent that so what I can do now is I can well like I say I don't need that so if I just send the X now and send that you can see now here that the I2C speed has been changed to 100k let's just change that back again so uh, what was it C13 Oh, and there's one more thing. Uh, in in, uh, let's just go back to this for a moment. Oh, let's just go B1. There we go. So I, I've set that to B1 there, and I'm going to press send. But before we look at it, 
uh, what I want to just point out is in here I've mentioned something about a hash. Now this hash I am not using it here because I've, I've actually written that into the Arduino code. The, uh, when I send this C13B1 to the Arduino the Arduino knows to send this hash hash in front of the C before it sends it to the actual uh, to the actual board here before it sends it to the board on the I2C uh, bus when I send uh, this hang on, where are when I send that it actually um, it actually puts the uh, it it puts this uh, hash in front of it for me automatically so I don't need to worry about that anymore but when 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 this code actually gets sent because we're, we're actually connected to the Arduino and it's the Arduino that is passing this code on to the motor driver board the Arduino puts a hash in front of that C so the driver board knows the correct code so uh, if you, if you if you read this and you're wondering why I'm not putting this hash in, is I've, I've told the Arduino to do it for me every time I send a command. Okay, so yeah, so if we just put X in there now, X, uh, we should see now that uh, where's my hand gone? We should see now that it, it now says 400. Now uh, the other thing, the station, right? So let's just put the hand there. So as I say, I have got these two switches. Yes, there we go. These two switches. That's for B, and this one is for motor A. So this one, if I Let's just bring this up again. So, where are we? Oh, uh, just. So, if I bring this up, and we can see that I have got station A turned on, uh, you can turn the station off. So, if you don't have uh, these um, uh, switches plugged in, and you're not using uh, a station to to set a, a value at a certain position. You'll see that I've got two here. So when uh, a motor is moving in one direction, it may switch the switch on at a different point when it's except when it's moving in the other direction. So I've given it so that there's two values depending on how it uh, hits this, the, the the switch that you're, you're going to use to set its position to a value, and you can actually. Uh, set these values oh and remember these I'll go into the EEPROM on the uh, the EEPROM on the um, uh, the, the microcontroller uh, so when you turn it on and you turn it back off uh, turn it off and turn it back on again all these settings will remain on, on this uh, microcontroller you don't have to set these settings every time you turn the uh, um, the driver board on every time you have to power it up you don't have to do all these things you don't have to do it the one time uh, once you've done it uh, so we've got an option for station on there so let's just uh, bring where is it yeah bring that back up so uh, on here uh, there we go uh, so we have um, has a station beat so we've got a, a, we've got the command c6 and it's a boolean so it's either one or zero and we can tell it whether it's got a station and this time we will use the m command also because uh, this setting uh, can be set for either motor a or motor b so you know you can change the uh, settings for each motor individually as you can see there we've got station forward a uh, station a on which is for motor one uh, motor a 
Then we've got station B on, which is for uh, motor B. So let, let, I'll just show you how I turn that that off for motor A, and I will turn it back on again. Uh, so you, you've got an idea. So for turning the station on, we use the uh, has a station position. So it's the C6 this time. I'll just move that out of the way. So C six and it's a boolean and we'll say it's off but at the moment uh, I haven't set which motor we're going to talk to so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put M1 in there and so this command is only going to be used for motor 1 which is motor A really so if I send that command and then we send an X again to, to, to get the information to check. So we'll send an X. We can see there that uh, station A is off. Uh, station B is still on. Um, I, uh, I might as well uh, do them all really. So what I'll do is uh, we'll turn let, uh, what I'll do is I'll we'll turn station uh, motor B off as well and then I will turn them both on so if we use the uh, uh, what was it C6 and we'll go B0 so off and we'll go motor 2 and I'll send that and then we'll just put the X in again and then we can see now that they're both off so I'll just bring me a pointer. So we can see stations off and stations up, B's on. So we did them individually by uh, using um, uh, using the M1 and the M2 command. But if I was to put, uh, we've got to be, turn it on. I want to turn both on. I want so I want to talk to both motors. We use the M3 command. So if I go C6, B1, M3, that should turn both motors on because I'm using 3 for both motors. Let's have a look and see if that's an X. Let's try that. And we can see there that uh, motor A is... Oh, I'm getting a big pointer. I made it, so I might as well use it. So yeah, so station A is on and uh, station B is on. And then we've got these the position. So what happens is these can be set, of course. Uh, so uh, what we do is we use uh, this command for the forward set station setting and this command for the reverse setting. So say you had a, a, a switch at a certain position and the motor was going forward and hit that switch it may be a different position if the motor was going in reverse and hit that switch. Let me see, uh, do I have an example? Well, I do, but it takes a long time for it to load. Uh, um, um, yes, uh, I'll, I'll give you an example. I'll tell you what, let's fire it up. And I can continue while it's, it's working. So let's just... Uh, open uh, FreeCAD and, and I, I can show you an, an example of uh, what I mean by having two values for your, your station basically. So I'll just uh, wait for that to load and what I'll do is I will open up um, by where are we? Is it that one? Yeah, Tim Two, I think it was. No, no, oh, no, <laughs> that's me tracks that one. Yeah, hang on. So, uh, oh, oh, I know where it is. Uh, well, I forgot what I. <laughs> my memory, I forget what I call things. Right, okay. Uh, uh, we're looking for L, L, uh, L, large arm. Right, large arm. Uh, dual driver boards. That's the one. Oh, by the way, I've just learned, um, where are we? 
Yeah, can you see how all my icons show uh, the um, the actual um, image of an STL file? Now, uh, I don't know uh, what software you use, but anything it is. But uh, if you load Windows Power Tools from Microsoft, it will do this for you. Uh, that's just a, a bit of info. Anyway, right, so let's get, carry on. Uh, where are we? Turret. Right, yeah, let's, I'll just. I'll, that's going to take ages to load. So, what I'll do is I'll leave that going. And we'll go back to uh, what we was doing with my uh, thing. Uh, where are we? Let's get all my pages back. Yeah. So uh, yes. So you can set the fact. You, you just set these C value. These command settings. They were called. I've made them. Called them C C for command settings. You do everything the same general way basically um, so once all that's done uh, and you've you've set them oh, oh, right that's what I was going to do next I just remembered uh, right let's, so let's bring that back Is that that's better a bit bright uh, right yes yeah, so what I was going to do is I was going to I'm going to press one of these switches so you can see that for the forward a I, I've got it so when uh, which one's that this is a right so this is switch a so uh, where I get my big hand there we go switch a so if you imagine you say you have this on a on one of your projects and you, you have a little trigger that triggers this and presses it so as you've got a motor moving something uh, along in this direction it's going to trigger it and maybe at that point and so what you want it to do what you can do is you can put a value in in here this for say say forwards going that way left to right you can put a value so it's at minus 500 now if you was if you had a, like a linear track and it was moving from this side and it was going in reverse and it hit the trigger it might hit it about here somewhere so this time it, you want it set at plus 500 so uh, the trigger is going to hit it about here somewhere going in this direction and so this position could be 500 and this uh, in the middle is zero and then if you're coming from this direction and you hit it it might hit it about here because you've got like a a, a big knob or some n lump you know a big piece of a, a nice big stick or something um it might hit it at position 500 so as soon as it touches that what you can have it done it will set its position to this value that you've set here so whatever value you've set here it will set that at that position so I don't actually know which whether we're going forward or not. Uh, right, so to make sure that I'm going forward, what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, set both motors. I'm going to use this M3. I'm going to use this one. F1 is for forward. Uh, S is for speed at 300, and M3 is for both motors. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select that. Well, that's in way. All right. Select that. So I've got that down here, and I'm going to send it now. So uh, what I've done there is I've set both motors going forward. Uh, let me just get my hand back. Right. I've, I've set both motors going forward, and now I'm just going to stop them with an F O command, and I'm going to stop both motors. So I'm going to select. I'm going to select this this one and send it uh, and that stopped both motors but w the reason I've done that oh, I'll just put an X in there so we can see what work stage we're at and and there we can see what why is that still zero 
Have I screwed up? I wonder if I've got a bad connection here. Let me just check. Motor 1. Let me just select that. Motor 1. I can't hear it running. Uh, what have I done wrong here? Just one moment. Right, I'm going to pause it, find out what I've screwed up with, and I'll come back. Oh, right, that was quick. Um, actually, um, <laughs> I found it. Uh, uh, my wire fell out. Uh, there we go. So that needs putting back into uh, back into here. So let me just uh, turn everything off. There we go. And we'll just. Uh, yeah, I broke I broke the little pin. I broke the little pin that goes on that thing to hold it inside the socket. Uh, which way up did it go? Oh, hang on, let me check it out. It goes... Uh, yeah, that way. Yeah. There's a little pin in there that, that I broke and... Uh, I need to put a new uh, pin on there so it stays in but obviously when I've pushed it in I have noticed that 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 did not go in there there we go the motor won't run without power will it <laughs> yep yeah. okay then so we're back put that back in uh, view uh, so this time let me just try it again then There, you can see both motors are, are running now, and I will stop that, so I'll stop both motors, F-O, there we go, that stopped them. Um, so now, um, let's get back to the screen, so we'll put an X in there. There, you can see now that the uh, the motors, oops, excuse me, the motors are obviously at different positions because that was uh, rotating first, and then now I corrected the cable. <laughs> this this cable here that was not connected. Uh, this one's got a lower number, but it doesn't matter. What matters is that we were going forward, and so. If I take this this switch for A and say we were going forward and so we're, we're going forward oh, hang on, what am I doing here? I'm messing things up. There, uh, where's, where's my pointer? Yeah, so let's just right go like that. So let's imagine that my motor was moving something along in this direction and it came and it hit the switch and we know when it hits that switch it should be at let's say here, minus, minus 500. So it's going to hit this switch, so let's hit that switch. Click, I've just clicked that switch, it's hit that switch. So let's see what position it's at now. So so this has come along, hit the switch. And we're on X, so let's just send that. And we can see it's at 500. Oh, actually, I've got that uh, back to front there. Oh, that might be why I'm having issues. Oh, right, anyway, I've got it back to front. So let's just go, say we were coming in this direction now in reverse, and we got to here. Remember, right in the middle of the switch is um, zero. But when I get, or it can actually be anything you like, you know, it doesn't have to be zero. It could be 2,000 or whatever, you know. But all you need to know is you, you need to know the position when it hits it from this side and when it hits it from that side. Whatever position it's in, uh, that's what it's going to set it at, and you can actually set these values. 
So, uh, it was 500. So, if I go and we change that, and what I'll do is I will select that. I will change that to an R, uh, R for reverse. And we'll send that. That should send both motors, both motors down here in reverse. And you can see they're both moving in reverse. It might be that I've got the motors the wrong way around, the wires for the motors the wrong way around. So imagine we're coming in from the other direction and I press, oh, let's stop that. Uh, and I press the switch now. Okay. If I send the X again, Send. We can now say, see, it says it's at minus. Uh, let's put that back there. There we go. It's at this. This is at minus uh, five hundred uh, when it hits that switch, and then it'll continue from there. So if I just go forward again, you see they're both moving. Oh, and by the way, you can while they're moving, we can inquire with the x and see where they're at you can see here uh, and as they're moving so i'll press x again to see whether what position it's at now you can see it's changed because they're still on and we ch check again now what i'm going to do is i am going to press this button while it's running so imagine it's coming along here, the motors are running, bam, 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 bam. it hits the switch, bang, and then it carries on like that. But when it's, at the moment, the motors are at this position, and let's pretend that value is wrong. So I'll send X again. Let's say that's wrong. Uh, but to, for my project, I want to uh, set the position correct so as the my motor is coming along and it's going to hit this button hits that button bang and then we send we can see that it started from that value and, and, and has continued so every time I press this button it's always going to start from this value that we've uh, we've got down here so if I press it again well what I'll do is we'll see what position it's at now it's at 20,000 so I'll press the button and send we can see that it started well, obviously when I pressed the button it was the 500 but because the motors are still running it's actually moved on from 500 so I'll send again so every time this gets so, well every time get this gets knocked it will set it to whatever value that you've set here so I hope you understand now what a station is uh, so uh, saying that uh, what I'm going to do well uh, you can see that this is at 126,000 this one so what I'm going to do is click them both if I click them both it's going to set them both to 500 and we can have a look and see where they're at now by sending you see they're pretty much in tandem now because i pressed them both at the same time so let's just stop that uh, let's do the fo so we've been talking to uh, both motors at the same time using the m3 command what i'm going to start doing is using the uh, m one and m2 because what i want to do is i want to set these motors at their own position so i'm going to use the g g01 or the g1 or g01 i mean it can be g01 that that's a habit i've got from using uh g code but you could have it could you could just put g1 uh, like three characters really because anyways it's a thing uh, so if I select this, what I'm going to do, I've got my G1 command, which is G for go to, it's, it's go to a position, and I've put a P for the position, which I want at 20,000, 20, my eyes can't see, 1, 2, 3, 
I think it's 20,000. I want to go at the speed of 300 and I want both motors to go there at the moment. So I'm going to send both motors. I want to grab that again. So, so, so that didn't take long, did it? Uh, so both motors moved. Uh, and so if we just put an X in there. And well, 99988 is close enough to uh, uh, 20,000. <laughs> this is the only thing with this. I ran out of memory. With my single uh, motor driver, I had a bit more room for some code, which because it was only controlling one motor. And I actually was able to put uh, a routine in to slow the motor down when it got close to where it wanted to be and so it didn't overrun so much but since uh, the, the, the the amount of uh, ticks on the encoder are, are quite a lot I mean what is it 12 ticks out that uh, it's close enough for me uh, so uh, depending if you've got a, a motor with lots of gearing on it, it's going to even be more accurate so it, it's close enough is that I mean we could just we could just try it again what we could do is we could uh, we could send that again and it will try to get a bit closer and it um, like that it just moved them slightly uh, can if you if if you just watch the motors here I'll try again there I mean that's how far out it moves look can you see it's just like half a turn there and so if we put the X in there we've, we've got it in with, within within five ticks there I mean <laughs> it's near enough a, a tick is like a slight turn on the, the, the axle of your motor I mean how far is, has your project moved when your motor only turn, turns that little bit? Right, so that, that moved both motors. So what I am going to do now is I'm going to send w only one motor forward. I'm going to send this one going motor one. I'm just going to turn it on and send it going forward. It's not going to stop or anything, so send that. And we can see there that motor one is turning. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to tell motor 2 uh, to go to a position. So what I will do is I've, I've changed I've changed that to 200,000. So uh, it's I'm going to do it for motor oh, damn, I've done that again. Motor 2. I've lost my hand. Right, hang on. I should make it on top permanent, permanently on top. Uh, so I'm going to have to put a setting in there on top. Right, so there, so I'm on motor two. I'm going to send it to this position. And and both, as motor one is working, uh, this encoder is working. And, and when I send the the command to motor two to go to this position position both encoders are going to be working so it sh hopefully this time it it won't be an issue so let's just send that actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this one up I'm going to put that one at six six the speed at 600 that speed is uh, anything between zero and 1000 so this is like um, uh, 60% of the speed so let's send that there you go you can see that the other motor is spinning a lot faster than this one and this one should stop when it gets to 20,000 uh, so I, I, I don't know how long it's going to take it to get there but let's let's find out fingers crossed shall we <laughs> Yeah, hopefully. Uh, I mean, I hope, I hope, I hope 600 isn't too fast for this encoder as well. Uh, well, what we can do is, while it's running, uh, we can put an X in. So let's just go with X, and we can see that uh, 
Where are we? What did I say I was going to? 200,000, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that was... Tw uh, I don't know. Hang on, see where we're at. Uh, that's motor A. Is that A? B? Uh, that's B, that one. B, 140. <laughs> oh, right, we're at 175. 192. Oh, there we go, it's stopped. There, look, you can see the motor's stopped. So let's see what positions it's at. Oh, there we go, yes. So that's, that's worked. And, and this one is still going steadily. It's at, at 204. So what I can do, let's just try, let's, okay. So what I will do is I will set this one, uh, put, I'll take a zero out of that. So where are we? So we got there. One, two, three, four. So that's twenty thousand, and we'll put that. We'll leave that at uh, th three hundred, and that is motor two. One it? motor two. Right. So we can see that here in here in. Oh, where's my big hand? We can see here that uh, we're in the two hundreds, and that's in two hundred and four thousands so i'm going to go motor two to uh twenty thousand okay so that has started motor two and it's it's going at twenty thousand it's been told to go to position twenty thousand uh, yeah twenty thousand this one i because i want it to be different and uh, that one's still moving and I want this motor one motor one I will make that go to a position 10,000 so so that we've, we've put in two different numbers so I'll send that and now it's, I don't know if you noticed but uh, this started going in reverse as soon as I click that now, uh, they're going pretty slow, uh, it's, it, it could take forever getting there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a speed, I'm going to put 600 uh, for both motors, motor 3. So I'll go M3 and that will should change the speed to 600. There you go, you saw them both speed up and one should be going to oh, what did I friggin say oh yeah one should be going to 10,000 and one should be going to 20,000 so we'll leave them leave these buzzing away for a moment What I could have done is I could have pressed one of these and, and reset the values and, and told it to go to uh, two values, but hey, oh, let's have a look and see where we're at. Yep, one's got there. There, that's the 20,000. To send that again. Yeah, 19,966. 19, this other one's still got a ways to go. Yeah, we're down to that. What I'll do is just to show that that is motor A, which is this. That is motor A, which is this one here, this switch. What I can do is I can trigger that to set it at one of these values, and then it will take. It will get to this quicker because what we'll do is we'll set it to five hundred. And and then it'll go from the 500. Or are we nearly there? Oh, actually, we're nearly there, aren't we? So, but anyways. Let's uh, have another look. 26. 12. 
Oh, oh, hang on, I did it before it stopped. Let's check. There, yeah, 9,965. So it's, it's within the same range as the other one. So, yeah, there we go then. So uh, uh, it seems that I can set values for the both these two now independently of each other and I can set them with the... Uh, thing i'm quite pleased with that actually i, I hope you found this interesting uh, and if you're having had a go uh, and if, if you need any help obviously if you're having a go at making one of these uh, just get in touch uh, the easiest way to get in touch is uh where are we uh where's my web page yes so uh, the instructables you, you can uh just make an account with the Instructables and then you can PM me, uh, uh, which is Palingenesis. That's what my name I go under there. So you just contact Palingenesis and send me a, a personal message if you want any help with uh, with this uh, thing. So, uh, um, yeah, uh, that's, that's my update uh, of my motorboard uh, and with sort of like uh, as far as I can see I've uh, sorted any issues uh, I mean me my first board uh, I'll still be using these I, I made a few of these uh, I think what have I got? I've got I've got one in my track I've got this one and I've got two in me uh, so I've still I've made four of these so I'll still use these for the track because the track doesn't use um, the encoders it, it it just controls the motors either on forward fast and it controls the speed and everything um, what you could do if you've got a big project and you're using uh, say a, a mixture of um, um, a mixture of motors some with encoders some without you could probably just put w one encoder on uh, and, and one without or, like I say, if you use in two with two encoders, the only tr the only issue with this board is that you can only move one motor at a time. Uh, but now I have updated that with this board. Um, you can now position both motors uh, simul at the same time simultaneously. You can do anything you like now with these two motors. So. Uh, yeah, I'll call it an end at that. Uh, if you made it to the end, thanks for watching.